Filters are used in many applications to remove contaminants from a fluid or granular mixture. Whether these contaminants are rust or dirt in a fuel line, particulates in an air supply, or just coffee grinds in your morning brew, the general objectives and mechanisms are the same. Block particles of size while minimizing the disruption of the flow which carries them. Filters are an excellent application for additive manufacturing and generative design because in many cases they play precisely to the strengths of these two advanced engineering techniques, intricate geometry for custom or tailored applications. Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP and I will show you how to create a high performance surface filter using our perforation tech today. Let's dive right in. Today we'll look at two different CAD files of a non-perforated filter. I'll take one of these CAD files, build a perforation workflow, and make the workflow reusable with the other filter. First, I imported my CAD files and converted them to an implicit body and TOPS native format. I also pulled out the interface to use as a reference to generate my perforations. Taking the CAD face, I can turn it into a mesh, and this allows me to generate points directly on the surface of the mesh to lay out the positions of my perforations. Using those points, I generated start and end points for some beams. The points are normal to the surface of my cat face. I can then thicken the beams with these points to create my perforations. And I can also thicken them uniformly or variably, giving me some extra control over my perforations. Now with the segments thicken, I can use some Boolean operations to perforate from the non-perforated filter and generate my final part. Now with this workflow complete, I can look back and pull out the parameters most important to me and my workflow, such as the number of perforations, the perforation thickness, the spatial weighting, and even more. If there are any parameters I want to change, I can change up the value, and because we work with implicits, we can generate new design iterations in a matter of seconds. We can add some field-driven design if we want to get a little bit more advanced. We can variably thicken line segments, the placements of these perforations, or both. You can use anything with a field, a point, a plane, an implicit geometry, or even simulation data to drive these parameters. Let's take a look at the perforation diameter. I can drive the perforation size using a sphere. Placing the sphere near the center, I can create a condition where closer to the sphere, my holes will be small, but the further away from the sphere, the bigger the holes. And this can also be applied to spatial weighting. Using the same geometry, I can create a condition where the closer to the sphere, the more points will be congregated, and the further away from the sphere, the more points will be spread out. And this can be used together to create some astonishing patterns like this. I even created a spiral to really show you how you can drive the diameter and the placement of the perforation using this similar technique. Now, I want to be able to bring in any filter that needs to be perforated. And to do that, I need to convert this workflow where I specify inputs I need from the user, where in this case, I'll need a cat face and the body that's being perforated. By specifying those inputs, I can create this reusable workflow where it will take that inputted face, generate points for the perforation, and take that body and perforate it. If I wanted to take it one step further, I could even condense this workflow into a single block using the variables I pulled out earlier. If I send this workflow to another coworker, they'll know exactly what inputs they need to fill and they'll get a perforated design right away. I'm happy with the result of my new perforated filter. I can even mesh and export my mesh to a third party software like Ansys Discovery to run a CFD analysis to evaluate the performance of my design. And if I need to make any changes, I can easily go back into NTOP, change one of the values of one of the parameters, and get a new design matter of seconds. With NTOP, you can enable quick design changes to generate multiple design iterations of any part that needs to be perforated. Go through numerous designs in seconds, backed up by the power of implicit modeling. I hope you got a lot of insight into designing and reusing the workflow for something like perforating filters. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If you think this would impact your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert to optimize your design process. We have a blog that goes more in depth on how you can design high performance filters for additive manufacturing. Check it out under the blog tab on our homepage. And lastly, if you like this video and want to see more, go to entopology.com under resources and videos and check out our videos here. Thank you.